Is there any concern that they're not going to be uh, necessarily seen as being able to make the decisions independently if the White House Chief of Staff is out saying that uh, the President is confident his son did not break the law? Well, that's something the President has said, and certainly we would echo. But in the same answer to that question, Peter, uh, during an interview this week on Dene ABC, Ron Klain also said the Justice Department is independent and they will make their own decisions. A lot of stories about Hunter Biden surfacing this week. So to ensure the independence of the investigation, would the President support the appointment of a special counsel? Well, first, the President has never had a conversation with the Department of Justice about any investigations into any member of his family. He said that during the campaign, and he will continue to abide by that. So I'd point you to the Department of Justice for any additional steps they would take. They would make those decisions independently. Is there any concern that they're not going to be necessarily seen as being able to make the decisions independently if the White House Chief of Staff is out saying that uh, the President is confident his son did not break the law? Well, that's something the President has said, and certainly we would echo. But in the same answer to that question, Peter, uh, during an interview this week on Dene ABC, Ron Klain also said the Justice Department is independent and they will make their own decisions. You guys are adding more sanctions, saying that the sanctions are going to take time to have an impact. How much time do you guys think that these innocent Ukrainians have? Well, I think what's important to note here is sanctions are just one component of the tools that we have at our disposal. What we are doing and we're already seeing effectively happen is the financial system in Russia is near the brink of collapse. I mean, they're projecting 15 percent inflation, a contraction of 15 percent in their economy. Uh, private sector businesses are pulling out of the country. It is more and more difficult for President Putin to fund this war every single day. That has an impact. But what we're also doing is providing a historic amount of military and security assistance, which is what they've been using effectively over the last few weeks to fight this war and push back the Russians. But just to put a finer point on some of the questions you've so far been asked, why shouldn't the images of the atrocities from Bucha compel a worldwide, unified, coalition, kinetic response? You mean a military war? Tell me more about what you mean. Sure, a, a military response led by the United States and the international partners. As in bringing military troops on the ground from the United States and NATO. Well, the president has described outrageous things. You've called them atrocities. You've said perhaps we should brace ourselves for worse. Why not? I think what the president's uh, objective is and his responsibility is to make decisions that are in the interest of the United States and the national security of the United States. Uh, and the American people, and that is not to go to war with Russia. It is to do everything in our power uh, to hold them accountable, to support efforts through international systems to do exactly that, and to provide military assistance, security assistance, and support to the Ukrainian people and the Ukrainian government. That's exactly what we're doing. But it is not in our interests or in the interests of the American people for us to be in a war with Russia.